iMessage continues to be one of the most reliable and user-friendly messaging apps for iPhone, iPads and Mac. But you might have noticed that almost all of the messaging apps that are out there, they let you create polls inside their chat or group chats natively. And even though Apple doesn't let you do that natively, but there are some workarounds for that. And that's exactly what we are going to have a look at in today's video. So like I already told you, iMessage doesn't support creating polls in group chats or chats natively. So we'll just have a look at the best third-party applications that will let us do the same thing. So firstly, open iMessage on your iPhone and on the keyboard, tap on App Store icon. By the way, if you're not seeing any icon above the keyboard, just tap on this App Store icon and then tap on App Store. Now tap on search icon and search for polls for iMessage. Now download and install the app. When finished, force close the iMessage app and restart it. Open any chat and now above the keyboard, swipe icons and tap on the poll icon. Press the get started button to expand the overlay screen. Decide the name for the poll and type it out. Then tap on next. Give options to the poll that you want people to choose from. And as you'll finish typing the first option, tap on create another to add another option. You can also delete the option using red colored minus sign icon Rearrange the order of the options by long pressing on the three horizontal lines on the left of the options and then moving them to your desired position. If you want, you can also delete the entire poll that you created by tapping on this delete icon. But if you're ready with all the customizations that you've made to this poll, tap on send poll. And that's it. That's how easy it is to create a poll inside group chats or individual chats on iMessage. Now, even though we've used an application called polls for iMessage, but it's not limited to that only. If you want, you can also use other applications such as Tele for iMessage, etc, etc. And after you've sent any poll to chat, almost all the applications that you use to create polls in iMessage, they will let you see who has voted for which option, will also let you add more options to the poll and will also let you declare winner from those options. See, polls are fun, especially when you're trying to make a decision while you're in a group of people. So instead of having to send thousands of messages in order to get to a decision, just use polls and you're good to go. So do let me know what you think about this method of creating polls in iMessage. If you like what you watched, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and make sure you download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store in order to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me here signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.